artisans handcraft these magnificent sculptures by fusing vibrant colors of finely ground glass to solid copper. First, the artist draws the design, then chooses the glass colors from a palette of hundreds of shades. She takes one element at a time and makes multiple copies of it on a sheet of paper. She has a lab produce a film negative, which she lays in an exposure machine. On top, she lays a silk screen coated with a light-sensitive chemical. It exposes them to halogen light for 90 seconds. The film negative works like a stencil. Its dark parts block the light from hitting the screen, while its clear parts allow light through. Where light penetrates, the light-sensitive chemical reacts and hardens. The unhardened chemical rinses away, leaving just the image behind. In the next department, they lay the screen in a silk screen printer, apply chemical-resistant ink, then load a sheet of solid copper about half a millimeter thick. The machine automatically prints the image onto the copper. They cure the ink in an oven for 20 minutes, then repeat the entire exposure process for the back side of the sheet. Next, they feed the sheet into a two-step milling machine. It applies chemicals that eat away any copper that isn't coated with the chemical-resistant ink. This cuts out the shapes. Then it strips off the ink, which by this point has served its purpose. Now they have a blank shape, but it's completely flat. To give it dimension, they stamp it with a forming die. Now the enameling process can finally begin. For each color grouping of the design, there's an aluminum stencil. They lay down the first one and sprinkle glass powder in the first base coat color, which looks white now, but comes out clear. Then a second stencil for the second base coat color, white. The shape then goes into a kiln for about a minute to liquefy the glass powder and fuse it to the copper. Once the base coat cools, they create the detail work with additional stencils and colors. This is where the true artistry comes in. Each shake of powdered glass is like a painter's brush stroke. Too much, and the color will come out too dark. Too little, and it'll come out too light. It takes an experienced enameler to get it just right. They craft dimension by blending colors and by combining different types of glass in the design, some transparent, some opaque, some opalescent. After every few powder applications, they return the piece to the kiln, where the intense heat, 870 degrees Celsius, liquefies and fuses the glass to the copper. Slowly but surely, they turn what was a blank copper shape into a vibrant work of art. Meanwhile, an artistic welder skillfully creates the sculpture's metal framework. In this case, branches on which copper enameled birds will perch. He's using steel, but frameworks can also be made of copper, bronze, or brass. Besides birds, this sculpture features copper enameled leaves and flowers. Their stems are bronze, because bronze fuses easily to steel. With the framework and background elements in place, it's just a matter of attaching the main design elements. Some industrial strength hot glue does the trick. A modern twist on an ancient craft, these glass enamel sculptures make a glistening impression.